Welcome to Starfield. It's time. We're back here on the moon of, uh, I want to say Uranus, but it's not Uranus. No, couldn't be that. It's Neptune. So, I saw a few places I kind of wanted to explore before we leave Neptune. Like that and that. This one looks a little bit more interesting. So we're gonna go here first. I also want to see if this back, this can give me a boost or not. Okay, it can. I just, I was pretty sure because it didn't have that basic boost thing on it, but I'm kind of angry that that's legendary and I can't use it. I also still don't understand how I can be here without a helmet on and be completely fine. Because unless I have a just a constant, I hate the fuck. This thing is so hard for me to. There's so many. You go here. Show in breathable areas. No, hide helmet in breathable areas. How is this breathable? I don't understand systems too much. I think um, this moon is really pretty though. But you know, seeing how many places there are to explore still, it just, it bewilders me, you know, and. Oh, I don't know. A few trees here and some grass there, and this place might not look so awful. I don't think it looks awful. I mean, there's amethyst crystals busting out of the ground everywhere. Everything looks sick. I'm just flying. Like, this is sick. Turn to the lodge. Yeah, because we have the thing. I bet that water... I don't know. It's iced over. I don't think I like the sound of that. Should we just leave it alone? We'll just leave it alone because last time we went here, we had to kill them all. And there was no loot, really. See, John doesn't like to kill. He likes to beat. And don't get me wrong. That's not the best either. But still. We're flying with a basic booster. What could the advanced one be? You know, that's probably when things start looking crazy is when your your boost just like makes you just straight up fly like forever and I bet that's a thing see that place to the left too so there's a bunch of fuel depots and it seems like they're like all over the soul system. I wonder if they're going to be in more places. Fuel depots make sense though here because it's like since they were forced to evacuate Earth and then get out and keep branching out, I mean they probably had to come across all these different places to try and look for fuel or material to get out, you know. It looks like, like an outlook. Like a fire watch. On a place like this. Clearly that doesn't make sense. It's going to give us a great view though. On the rest. Of the places around here. See if we're missing anything.
abandoned mine. I wasn't expecting that. You started cracking rocks at a mining facility like this. Isn't that right, Dusty? Listen, Dusty. I may be Dusty, but don't forget the simply. Sounds like something's closer, that's weird. Helium dispenser. Huh. Okay. I don't really know why we would need helium, but good to know. Freaking gosh. Forget we can just fly up. <laughs> it's like, well, okay. Who needs stairs? Ah. Who needs them? This game satisfies me. We already have that, but we could always use ammo. I need to have at least I got a few of those cure whatever things, you know, that can help out certain effects. Stream so hey, buddy. I think he kind of just accepted his fate, to be honest. Assassin's Mailstorm. I can't actually tell. Are, is there... Oh no, Maelstrom's a weapon. I didn't realize I had two health effects. Or did that, is that not? Wait a minute. No, yeah. Oh, it just had a silencer and a scope. That's kind of nice, but... We might actually need that later, you know. Well, you pick it up then, Sarah. You pack mule. Dracula? Moby Dick! What I should see is if that is just taking like a first page thing, or if that's actually, you know, full books. Because when I click E for next, it just kind of goes out. Well, I'm a little disappointed there. That's more helium. We should add that. I'll talk to you later. Um, this was a good outing. Okay. One, five. Can you get out of the way, please? Okay, let's take a... Forgot to kind of look around to see if there was anything close. Well, that's a grenade. That's a little too close to my other. Oh, I can zoom. That's nice. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like there's really too much around. I just want to know everything, though. Like, what's behind those mountains? I think this saves us from fall damage. It totally does. Get out now! Nah. Get over here! <laughs> Last mistake, you almost gotta hit the alarm! Ah. <laughs> this air doesn't even have armor on. Oh, I suppose it really isn't armor in this game. Bring it 
I might be Echo Lake. Yeah, well, where are you going, dude? So basically, we just need a rifle and a shotgun, and we're fine. Don't leave any of that behind. Helmet display. Well, that's a nice looking helmet. It's better energy. Less physical. Both of these are. What is considered physical is... Because the guns have to be... Physical unless they're laser. And I feel like there's more physical than... Laser stuff, so... Jeez. We're breaching. We're there. I still don't know how to tell if something's better. I like how it's in like a little pack too. Huh. Just so you guys can see again where we are. In case you want to get that for yourself. Oh my, we're trying one again. See now this is when I just get confused because I don't understand if I'm doing this right or not. Oh, okay, I'm doing it right, Never mind. See, and I thought I was a doofus. This whole time I was only half. We need to turn off that alarm. I don't know how to turn off alarms. Open. Oh, wait. Wait, how did I turn around and not notice? Wait, what? Confusion! I bet our adoring fan misses me, so let's get back. Flying through. See, we have a helmet now. Why would there even be an airlock if this wasn't a place where you needed a helmet? Maybe it was just a glitch that I needed to go inside and outside to fix. Then again, I don't know. I want my booster to go a little faster. This new ship is like pretty cool looking. It makes me feel less inclined to create my own ship now because I just want to like collect as many as I can, and maybe modify the one I like, you know? All right, let's get this crate into space.
Yeah, I don't know when those bodies are gonna disappear, but guess we're just gonna have to stay for a while. Where are we off to next? Cause I can't really remember. Mm. Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the lodge. Lifting off now. I don't know how you can tell if a ship is better than another one, but... Huh. Okay. Can you, like, land on Jupiter? Or can you not? And where was, um... Oh, yeah. Here's... Probably one of... The first outpost would be on Europa or... Which one was the livable one? Europa or Callisto? I hear Callisto and I think the Callisto Protocol and just flashbacks. I never want to go back there. Uranus has a lot of places to discover. And Pluto too, eh? I thought they were going to attack me for that. That was an accident. We ought to check these places out. Like, I, I kind of want to look at this before we go... Before we head out to the lounge. Gear looks green. Ready to land. Why are you liking it? Do you see those animals? Those look like pterodactyls. Hello. Where's the so called civilian outpost? Whoa, I didn't mean to do that, dang it. I didn't know I could fast travel to places you haven't even been. I like it here. My partner thinks spacers will want to rob this place. Ha! I'd like to see them try. I like this. Look at the architecture of this place. I like how places have airlocks, but is it necessary on this planet? You visit other colonies? Are they anything like ours? Well, I've only visited a couple. Research lab to use. Mods. Spacesuit designed probably something and weapon engineering that we need to get into. Kind of close, Sarah. Howdy. 
Howdy, little foot. Now you can trust what you buy here. We use our own supplies. Well, I don't really have anything to sell, but I guess maybe do you? Can I not buy you from you? I can't even click on you. I like this sculpture. I wonder if we can add misc items, you know, into our places that we build. Hey, buddy. Nah, I don't handle the money. Find my associate. They'll sell you whatever you want. Well, I've been trying to find somebody to talk to, but nobody wants to talk. I'll notice how that base booster, like, or er, base booster. The boost barely even brings you up. Open. We're literally on the opposite side of the planet, too. Sometimes other colonies will send us supplies. No way we would have survived without them. And I like these movies. Yes? What? Symphonies. I just want to watch them. It would make me feel very involved. Is that a sound frequency we can pick up on? Haven't seen something like that. It doesn't even feel like Starfield anymore. I mean, now I feel like I'm just playing Scrim. Like we should be holding on to these sealants or whatever because they kind of like I wouldn't say rare okay I gotta make sure my okay my headset's on the wrong side this darn headset man apex Arathok? That has to be those flying things. Whoa! That's wild looking. Don't eat me! Scan any promising leads? Just want to say hi but I don't know if you want that is crazy looking oh, you're cool man are they not they're not trying to like pinch me or anything right I'm not getting pinched here am I So, what's the Apex Parathok thing then? Because these are wild looking. Harvest? Oh my. Yeah, those are crazy too. Do I want to fight it? Maybe. Dumping grounds. Sounds like the perfect place to find something. I 
I come in peace. Boom pop. Look. You don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. Keep your wings in the air. Oh, somebody wants to fight? You wish to fight? I missed completely. Sarah's got it handled. She's more suited to menial tasks. Barngar. I mean, Sarah. So that stands for unknown, not like... Frequency? Or no, just saying that I haven't, I don't know it. Right? What's going on here? Is that a person? Is it a photographer or something? Whoa. Please help me. My brother was attacked by some nasty creature and isn't going to make it much longer. He needs a med pack. Quick. Sure, man. Oh, phew. I owe you. Seriously. Rest up. We'll go when you're ready. I just need Thank to rest you. now. He may be my annoying brother, but I don't know what I'd do without him. Well... Could you tell me the creature, possibly? It still says unexplored. So, where is the thing to scan? Melted Glacier. Generates quicker. I mean, this. None of it's like speed. Science! Where were shotguns? We have the shotgun. It does enough damage for now. I think we should get into tech. Or... What? Maybe... Weightlifting. That would be good. So we've been having a hard time with carrying weight. This is pretty. It's a cave. No. We're pretty far from our ship now. 
there's literally nothing in all these directions. How do I? Okay. Hypothetically, could I walk from like here to the other planet, the other side of the planet? I bet people are just fast traveling all over the place. You call yourself an explorer. I really do enjoy... What is this planet called? Jemison or something? But I wish there was more to like giving that person a med med pack though, you know, like it'd be kinda cool if they wanted me to go fight that creature. Or you know, something like that. Wait, what? Oh. And why are these, like, gastric things everywhere on every planet and moon? Oh, wait. Just die? You could die to one of these vents, or... Fighting that. What's that sound? What the heck? Are those? Oh, those are just beetles. They look like those extinct creatures that were on Earth millions of years ago. So I still am confused as well with this fast traveling system because if I was able to come here and it was in an un unknown area and I was able to just fast travel, could I technically then fast travel to any unknown area? Because if that's true, wouldn't that just remove the whole idea of, you know, traveling? I wonder if the compass to the left is actually needed or not. Because it couldn't just be put on this HUD. I mean, what do we have? O2 and C CO2 are kind of the only things. But there's nothing on the bottom middle. What are they dying fighting? Oh, ship. Oh, 
Well, let's get back. Deliver the artifact. See what they have to say. Did he just... Wait. Did she taste... I'm confused. Huh? Here. I have something for you. It's not that big of a deal. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Next time, next week. I appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Metabolic leaf agent. I mean, how much do we get? We just pick a leaf off the tree, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. How you doing, buddy? There was a small bit of dust on your shoulder. How dare it try to spoil perfection. But don't worry, I blew it off. This guy, he knows what he's talking about. He's just, he's the one. I gotta keep him around. Forever and ever. I tried to leave him, but I couldn't. So he followed me in, you know what? Serves me right. Time to leave this place behind. You know what I actually never even really looked at is if the city has like an outside to it, <laughs> like the walls, the outside outskirts of the city. Hell of a city, out. isn't it? There's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. Seems like we should have not been here coming from the ship, but. Have it. Go ahead. Do the honors. I don't know why I didn't take that. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Nice. What does it mean to be a full member, though? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. It's an honor. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Well, you really would be watching mine, but... Um... I work better alone. Uh, if I can see why, ask me, because they're not going anywhere. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. Was she it's not in before? Freestar Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. 
We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. 10,000 credits, wow. Well, who is Sam Co? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. You can thank Barrett for that, if he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. All right. Time to go? I want to see what you gave me. That's better than what I have. We have that now. Okay. No. Why am I still walking slow? I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. I'm right here. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Yeah, well, I know they're related. This is kind of, yeah. Just a friendly jab. Small group like this, you'll learn more about everyone than you ever wanted to. Kind of all that family is, in a way. Like, more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Taking a kid into danger. Good to meet ya. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. I'm well, not actually Honest. taking that anymore. Now, let's start business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Uh, you know... I feel the same. Yeah, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Let's go. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. What's that necklace? Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. Yes. Does Sarah get to go too, though? You know this has a pretty similar feeling to the Eye of Magnus. Open, open. Maybe we gotta go check on that person that was working with that tree. So Sam. You given it. You 
just scan her face now. Where was that quest about talking to the guy? I don't really remember his name, that's the problem. Any thought to what I asked regarding Cora? What do you mean? Keeping her in the lodge like a prisoner instead of letting her go? Cora's just chilling in the front. I know that the tree had to be pretty close. Right? Is that the one? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Kelton, that was your name. Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Well, I ran into you, but... Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Do we have any time scale? I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Co-worker and jilted lover? Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Why not? I'll get your research, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Make him squirm. Knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, that perhaps it's best if you is don't exactly mention my name. What we process. were trying to go and figure out about the outskirts. So let's let's go do this. Oh wait, did it just mean like the outskirts, not like beyond the wall, or is this a, a door? Dang it. I wanted to go beyond the wall. <sighs> of all the assignments they could have given me. Hey. <sighs> could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. I don't like your face. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try. But it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that.
Yeah, yeah, that's all very touching. But cathartic or not, my career would still be in flames. Well, I'll extinguish the uh, flames. I'll go really in there and I'll do go, it myself. Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Ah. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. You want me? You... What do you want me to do? Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. You punk. Fine. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I'll follow your lead. But I wish handling our tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations okay, in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Sorry, that's not on the table. Huh. There is, and I already explained exactly what it is. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. Advancing my career is the right thing to do, so that's what I'm focused on. So... Give me the data! I can't do that. Enough. The deal is the deal. You get Kelton's uh. stupid data when I know that the files have been wiped from the chief engineer's I'm gonna terminal. take your hair, and I'll rip Just it off, in, I'm gonna put it in your, your ears, terminal, and I'm gonna glue the it. the files, and get out. Really simple. You know, you're the type of person I wanna beat up in high school, you punk. Best of luck out there. Uh, where are we going? Makes me do his dirty work for him. And then Sarah gets mad at me. How else could we get the tree to flip and happen? It's either we beat him up, steal from him, or do this. She probably wouldn't have been happy either way. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Got enough flight traffic again. Your first aid tomorrow? Yeah. Clothers? You're looking at. Whoa. Please let me you won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Let's see what you got. I'm sure you'll be satisfied with the selection. Look, I know fashion. Alright, you trust me here. Corpo looks pretty cool. She's got a cape. That does not fit me the best. Oh come on, you've gotta Something a little bit better. This makes me look like I'd be Dracula. But I like these. I forgot what they're called. A dress. This looks like a monarch. Uh, I want this. I'll see you again, I'm sure. I wonder if the spacesuit is also something we can kind of have on the side where it just comes off. Oh, yeah, you can hide spacesuit in t settlements. That's sick. Oh, I like that. That makes it so cool. Can we still fly though? It just 
puts it on her back. Oh, I should be in sneak, right? Exactly, is this work? Does this work? Undo? If we do that, this one should fit. Yeah. Wait, but then. Okay. I see you've done that before. Listen, Sarah. You were angry just before. Can't believe I'm getting somebody a promotion right now. I actually don't really remember what I was supposed to do. What if I purged all of the other guy's files too? It's a nice little apartment. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. I am gone. Tell you one thing. His steps quake. How hard would it be to like give yourself CO2 poisoning by sprinting on Earth? Need something? Is that even possible? Oh, that's right. Of course you do. Shut up, Emilio. I hope you poop your pants. You have some good news for me? The records are clear. They sure are. I took a peek on the network, saw that things have updated. Great job. You came through for me, so now I'll do the same for you. This slate has all the data Kelton needs. Hand it over to him, stuff it down his throat. It's all the same to me. All right. Wait, 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 I got something for you. <laughs> Do I feel bad? No. Hey. I tried to tell my colleagues that botany was important. I tried to warn them. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Um. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I don't want to know. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. I was doing my part. Look, and I don't want to cut the tree down. It. I like the tree. Thank you for your assistance. I think it's pretty. Very pretty. But, you know, what we're going to need to do is travel out later on the next episode. Because we're running out of time here. And uh, 
don't know. It's been good. I wanted to check out... I just want to check out everything. This is going to be such a long playthrough. Buckle in. Peace out, everybody.